needs for a 2005 Ford Explorer gas tank removal, fuel pump removal. <clears throat> it's right up here on the passenger side. 15 millimeter bolt there, or nut. And a 15 millimeter bolt up there. Kind of a tight fit, but I was able to get it with a swivel and a short socket, 15 millimeter again. Uh, I think that was a seven millimeter or a screwdriver to take that off. Uh, you'd have to worry about where the gas is gonna go to. You can drain it, pull it off and let it drain into a big bucket. Depends how much gas you have in there, unfortunately, or you can cap it off if you're lucky. There's a clamp up there too, but I got it off right there. And then also, right up there is a fitting you have to squeeze the connector to get it off. So the fuel filter is behind here. I do have a video on remove and replace fuel filter so you can check out the connectors. But I think I'll be able to show you elsewhere in this video how to undo the connectors. Two 10 millimeter bolts. And there's a shield right here, right there. Three 13 millimeter bolts go in place right there. So we have this. We have a connector up here as well. Right there, you need to undo that connector. And then over here, that connector right there. Undo that, because it'll go with the gas tank. And then lastly, to get this gas tank out, I undid these bolts here. Two 15 millimeter bolts again. Um, I got those with 11 millimeter bolts, because there's a shield right here. Move the shield, because there's another bolt. 15 millimeter on this side and 15 millimeter on this side uh, and then I can drop this down also I took out the two 18 millimeter bolts right here and I used a pry bar right in here and I was able to pry this down just need to go about an inch or something like that that'll give you the clearance you need to get the gas tank out and you will have to tip it down at an angle and slide it out towards the back so Here's the other gas tank, which I did replace because it had a hole in it somewhere. You kind of see I capped it. There's a cap in there. So if you have a way that you can plug it, certainly do that. All right, so here's a view basically from above the fuel tank. Here's the fuel line going to the engine. And the fuel line here wraps around here. Hooks into the fuel pump assembly up here, I believe, somewhere. And this fits into the fuel pump assembly as well. We have our electrical plug in here. Oh, well, you can see it goes right here. So this goes to the fuel pump assembly here. This plug in does as well. And then this uh, fit in here goes to the fuel pump assembly. One, two, and a plug in. There's a plug in that's on the frame right here. You're supposed to push on the button. Technically, as simple as that. Two fittings on the end. This will probably stay connected on the fuel tank. And this one you have to take off right here. Pushing on that button and it'll release and pull off. Give it a shot, see if you can do it. It's kind of stiff, oh look at that, it works pretty good. Yeah, that's a great action shot right there, I like that. Click, do we snap on this for the click? Yeah, that's good. What about one of these? Do one of these here. Pushes in. Oh, there's a piece of rock in there actually. Yeah, like that. Usually use a screwdriver to get that out. You have to push those bottom pieces in, push them in. There you go. Boom. 
think those are the two fuel lines you need to worry about. Those are pretty common now. I think that's everything you need to get your fuel pump assembly out, your fuel tank out of your Ford Explorer.